So, you know a custom thumbnail is very important on YouTube, don't you? But sometimes it's a real pain to have to go to a separate piece of software. Well, let me show you how you can make your own custom thumbnail right on YouTube. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Ozzy Mark. And thanks for watching. If you haven't met me before, um, my channel is here to help provide solutions for people who make drone media to improve their videos and to improve their ability to get eyes on their wonderful video footage. So let me show you a solution I have found, a little thing that you install which will allow you to then make custom YouTube thumbnails right on YouTube. Yeah, you don't need any other software, you do it on YouTube itself. Let me show you how. So this is my channel that some of you may have seen before and you'll notice that my channel art's different as well now. Um, I've tweaked that quite a bit and I will um, talk to you about that in uh, another video. Let's check these numbers up here because that's what's new. Look at those numbers there, it's showing me I've got 7 views in the last 60 minutes, 450 in the last 48 hours, 1.5 thousand views in the last 7 days and so on. I'll show you how I got those numbers to display there as well. For the time being we're going to go to videos and down to a video that doesn't have a thumbnail because that's the one that I want to show you how to make a custom thumbnail on YouTube. So with this new add-on that I'm going to show you at the end of the video, um, basically it's going to allow me to um, display a bunch of stats like these that you can see. This video is 30.1 30 out of 100 as its vidIQ score um, for the popularity. It's at 101, 104 views and so on and there's other stats as well. But to this custom thumbnail, let's click on edit video and you know that you see down here where the normal custom thumbnail button is but next to it now is create thumbnail that wasn't there before. So now I can, whoops I'll stop this video, we can scroll through this video which will allow me to pick the individual frame that I want to use as the background for my thumbnail. So I'm just grabbing the scroll bar, scrolling through slowly until I find the frame that I think would suit best to grab people's attention for this particular video, which I've called the best fishing spot, or a great fishing spot. Now this is an attempt that I had earlier. I'm gonna delete this off and show you how I did it. So I'll get rid of that, um, this text here. I'm just going to click on text, go down to delete, click on that bit of text, down to delete. So to add a new text, this time I'm going to add a shape first that I'm going to put the text on. So I click on that button right there and it's going to show me, um, oh, sorry, tell a lie, I'm clicking on image first. Now I could just add emojis if I wanted to and I might well come back to that actually. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one of my own images um, a picture that I've already got stored on my um, pictures folder and I'm going to pop that in as part of my thumbnail. Now you could add a whole different picture if you didn't even want to use the picture that's uh, a frame from your video. I'm going to grab that one there, Aussie GIF, and there it is there. Now I can just grab that and drag that down to the corner where I want it and then I can resize it if I want. Um, that's going to uh, allow, whoops, we'll just grab a corner, slide that down. I'm just going to leave that sit in the corner. Now I'm going to go to shape that I was talking about earlier. And you can see it gives me a choice of rectangle, triangle, circle or ellipse shapes. And there's color available as well. You can click on that and change the color of the shape to any color you particularly like. Just the same as colors you see in any other piece of software. And of course you can change, you can put a border on it as well. That could be any width, just, just depending on what you want to choose there. So if I add that shape, it's going to give me a rectangle. Where do I want to put that rectangle? I can drag it to anywhere I want on the screen and drag it to any size I want. As you can see, now I'm dragging it out from the side rather than the corner. I'm going to put it up here and I'm going to put text on top of that. Just adjust it so I feel happy with the look of it. I'm not going to bother putting a board around it this time. Now I'm going to click on text and enter the first lot of text that I want to have. So 
the text that I want to display on top of that square. You don't have to have that square, but I mean the rectangle, you know. It's, it helps to grab people's attention if it's something strong and bold to look at. So what am I putting in here? Best fishing spot I'm going to type in. That'll um, grab their attention because um, you know how many people love fishing. And rather than just have it black, I think I'll pick a red color for the color of the text. Okay, then I'm going to add text. And there it is in the corner. Drag it down to where I want it to be. Now I could go over here to change the font size if I wanted, and that's what we'll do at the moment. Just scroll around looking for suitable text. No, I don't like the look of that one. Let's try something else. Uh, what else can I see that I think looks good? Um, oh, too many to choose from. Let's try that one. Yeah, that will probably look alright, but she's small. Now I could change the font size there. Too big. Too small. Too... So I can just grab the corner and drag and drop the size of that text to any size I want. And position it right there. So, there you go, that's not too bad. And now, I'm going to put another piece of text in. So I'll go back to text again. I'm going to put in a second piece of text. Just type it in that window. Uh, what am I putting in here? Um, sing from a drone, that's right. And I want people to know that even though they're looking at a video of a best fishing spot, it's going to be an aerial video. And of course, using the word drone isn't going to do any harm if people are searching for drone videos on YouTube. So if you put it in your thumbnail, put it in your title, and you're a drone like me, then you're going to get more views that way. Okay, so I've changed the color to white. And um, let's see, yeah, that's all right. Probably want it a bit bigger though. Yep, drag it around, make sure it looks good. Uh, up there, down there, it's hard to know. Um, yeah, that'll do, okay. Yeah, I think I'm reasonably happy with that. You know what? I'm going to go back to those emojis that I saw before. I've got a space there in the middle. And I reckon if I put a big thumbs up uh, in the middle there, saying, yes, this is a really good fishing spot, which it is, of course. <laughs> but you do need that thumbnail to grab people's attention so that they'll watch the video. Grab a thumbs up, click on that emoji right there, and drag it down to where I want it. Good. Yeah. Of course, you can see I resized that to any size I want. Leave it there in the middle. Going to next. And this is the second but last step. It's showing you what it's going to look like on YouTube as a thumbnail, on Facebook as a thumbnail, and Twitter. I could go back and adjust that. But all I'm going to do right now is just hit the save button to create thumbnail. Give it about 30 seconds and it'll appear as a thumbnail on YouTube. Done. Pretty easy. Now, the question I guess you've been waiting for is, how do I get it? How do I get it installed on my YouTube? It's pretty easy, really. <laughs> there is a website called VidIQ. I even mentioned it earlier, you may have picked up on that. You go to vidIQ.com and you create a little account for yourself, download the free version, and of course there are paid versions that are gonna allow you a lot more statistics. Um, but go to vidIQ, get the basics, install it, and you will get those stats that you saw on my, um, on my particular channel. Uh, it gives you stats for every video, it gives you keyword search ability, so it'll actually provide you with suggestions for additional keywords that you can add to your keyword box underneath the video that you're editing to provide you with a greater opportunity of your videos popping up as suggested videos for other people to check out and therefore get more views on your wonderful footage. That's it. Just go to vidIQ and install it. Well, if you found any of that helpful, and I hope you did, then I'd really love you to um, give me a thumbs up if you like the video, of course. And if you want to check out what else I'm going to um, provide in the future, please um, hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Have a fantastic day, and I hope to see you very soon on another video.